Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn what is slow query log and how to enable in MariaDB. So first of all, what is slow query? Slow query log stores the information for queries that took long time to run. That means any query that is taken a long time to run that will be logged into the slow query log file or table. Now, here is one of the thing the time we are saying long query time that you have to define you can define it one second 10 second is your to your choice so if i will define long query time one it means any query that take more than one second that will be captured okay how you enable this one so first of all if you have mariadb in standalone what you will do you will go to the go to the etc go to the my config file and then just add these entries first of all you will say slow query log is equal to one that mean enable it long query time the definition of your long query time i'm saying anything that's taking greater than one second log it that the path where the file is created so var log my sql slow log slow query dot log that's the where i would like to put the information and if you can you want to change it to something different directory you can uh, log query is not using indexes okay log any query that is not using the indexes so these are four things you are going to take there could be more parameters but these are basic parameter what i need uh, or i used to enable slow query logging okay if you are using a glare cluster then what you will do you will go to the etc my config dot d and you will go to server dot config file and add these values same values what we have on the top for slow for standalone okay let's walk through the presentation first and then i will perform the demo now check current values we can say show variables like and uh, whatever the variable slow query log or long query time or uh, the query log query um, slow query log file path we want to see we can put it here and it will give us uh, all those information so log into the MariaDB run this uh, command to see the current values for the uh, parameters if uh, you want to see uh, the information in the table so what you will do set a global uh, logged output equal to file and a table so what it will do then uh, your slow query uh, queries which are logging in the file they will also be logged into the table okay um, again it's your choice if you are logging into the file just keep it one place you know less burden on the server but if you want to do into the table as well you can do that uh, it will be logged into the one of the table called slow underscore log table in mysql database okay great now let's go and perform a demo okay go give me one second let me switch the screen good uh, first of all uh, let's see if we have these parameter uh, four of them where we need to put them uh, as i said if you have standalone you're gonna go to the uh, say uh, sudo vim etc my dot config okay that's where you're gonna go and then uh, hit uh, escape hit i that mean insert and then right click um, so it will paste uh, whatever the values we have uh, copied from a notepad or whatever okay great so you can see that the slow query log is equal to one log uh, long query is equal to one sorry long query time is equal to one second uh, long query path file and then we have a uh, um, long log query not using the indexes as well okay great so then you will hit uh, escape then you hit uh, colon wq that will save it but in my case uh, i'm just gonna go and colon q and explanation mark and that will uh, do it because i don't want to save into the uh, this uh, file in case you are using glare cluster so you will be doing sudo vim my.config.d and then you will go to the server.config file and same way you hit enter uh, just uh, put four values what i have shown you there and uh, then uh, uh, save the changes good now we will uh, log into the mariadb and take a look so mysql dash u root dash p dba password okay so what we need to see here we need to see the current values because i have already enabled it so it should show us the values so you see that uh, slow query log is equal to on it means uh, our query log is equal to on good next part uh, what time we are 
telling for long query so what is our reference time in my case I had set to the one second good so next part what we want to do where is the, the file so we can do sorry show variables like and then what we need to put it there is a slow query log file that's what we want to know where exactly our file is okay so we can see that our file is var log mysql and the name of the file is slow query dot log okay good now we are all set uh, the one of the other part we would like to do we would like to capture the information in a table and uh, in a file so i set a global var log var uh, sorry set global uh, log underscore output equal to file and table so it is going to put the information in table and file for our slow running queries okay great we are all set here so we can see select star from mysql dot uh, slow log that's the table and we can run and uh, that has a lot of information I'm gonna just uh, clear this one show you in a little different format uh, so you can see better backslash g so we kind of convert the output each row will be converted into a block uh, so you can see that uh, here so if you will take a look here <clears throat> excuse me so row number uh, 622 and uh, start time user uh, time taken uh, rows sent uh, and uh, rows examined database name what was uh, the queries threads and all that so you can see everything in uh, this uh, uh, log so uh, now we will go back uh, and we will exit from here and once we exit uh, uh, let's clear now what we need to do we need to read that file so let's go to the um, cd war log mysql that's where our log file is slow query log that's the name of it and if i will do tail minus 10 or 20 maybe 100 and then uh, just provide the file it is going to capture all that information so you can see that uh, i i ran multiple queries at different times so it has been capturing uh, one of the query i ran uh, uh, let's say this one select star from uh, this is the timestamp so this timestamp so it uh, uh, can you can see that I have a select uh, star from uh, employees uh, then it returned these many rows here uh, who was the user uh, and uh, what was the timestamp you know so each each record is going to have a different timestamp and you can see from there and then um, like whatever the query you have you know and uh, how many rows uh, examined rows sent uh, and everything you can see that one of the thing is confusing here so if you see that uh, log time or query time query time is uh, here um, you, it's taken less than second but the information is captured in slow query why is that so because uh, we have said okay and give me any query that is taken more than one second but this is even uh, the query that even didn't take one second uh, same one uh, this didn't even take one second so less than one second uh, queries are captured in my case uh, why they are captured because uh, I have this variable called uh, capture also those queries which uh, are not using indexes so if I will clear this one and I have this log queries with not using indexes equal to one so I have this parameter or variable set to one uh, that's why if the query is not using indexes it's going to be captured so just make sure uh, if you just want to always capture the depending on the time so maybe disable this one so you don't have to uh, deal with the queries which are not using indexes so uh, that will be one filter you will ignore them and uh, get the only one which are taken uh, more time what you have defined uh, same way um, uh, you can go ahead and uh, define your time like two seconds three seconds four seconds and then uh, capture all those queries uh, also uh, this is good uh, parameter log, log queries not use indexes if you are uh, planning to start building indexes on the table and uh, they, this uh, this will help uh, to capture all those queries which are not using indexes and you can f go sort of them out and then create the indexes on those queries and uh, reduce the time for uh, execution so thanks very much for watching this video i hope this will help uh, subscribe if you like and i will see you guys uh, in next video